In this vlog, I'm going to explore the science faculty a bit because it's really sad because NUS is now doing like a hybrid mode of teaching. So all of my lectures are online because a lot of my lectures have like a thousand plus people. So there's no way to do it offline. And then for some of my lectures with like less amount of people, like 90 people, it's still online. And I do have some tutorials in person, but there's only one that's in the science faculty. So I don't go there very often and it's supposed to be my home faculty. So I, I really wanted to spend some time to explore that area basically because I heard for next semester, NUS is trying to get back to 100% offline mode of teaching. So I will need to go to that place eventually and also I will be having some of my final exams there so it's, I guess I will have to explore there a bit. So yeah, I'm now going to head to one of the medicine buildings to do some health checks because I volunteered to participate in a study so I need to go there in person to do a health check. That medicine building is just a 5 minute walk from the science faculty and today the weather is like super hot so I was in my room and the fan was not working. I was sweating in my room so I really needed an AC place anyways. I heard there are a lot of study places there as well, but I rarely go there because there are already a lot of good study places in Newtown. Yeah, I really wanted to see my home faculty and just like look at the lecture theaters and stuff because I've never been to a single lecture theater and it's been like two months already. So it's kind of sad and I'll see you guys there. got some dinner I got some roast duck rice yeah I'm probably going to come back here like tomorrow but yeah I explored the canteen the canteen the food is super cheap it's so much cheaper than the foods in Utown and that's just because Utown has expensive food okay my bus is here I gotta go first <laughs>
students it's early in the morning and there's no one here i thought i'll give you guys a tour of this place because i just discovered this day the other day and i loved it it gives me like coffee shop vibes it's usually full in the afternoon so that's why you have to come early to get seats essentially this is how it looks on the outside okay it's raining today so it doesn't look that pretty but a couple of days ago when it was like really sunny you can see the very good view that you would see inside okay so it's called the student area one so honestly, the first thing that caught my attention when I saw this room was this line of couches. It's like right beside the window, so you get pretty good view. And to be honest, the rest of the room is just like tables with social distancing. So here you basically have a gigantic window. So when the weather is very good, you would get like very sunny days. I really like the vibe that this place uh, gives. I feel like it'll help me feel very motivated to study. And so here there's a side door. I don't think this is very practical because the seats are very tiny. I think in the past, there are more seats here, but they closed it down because of COVID. Those are places there to study as well. It's Starbucks like right underneath us. And so here is me sitting by the window, like by the seats by the window. So yeah, so I'm gonna do some work first and then going to get some breakfast around 9, 9.30 or else I get hungry in the afternoon really soon. Yeah, so I'll see you guys and take you guys along with me in this journey. brain is honestly so fried from the lecture recording because it was a it was about evo devo it's like a combination of evolutionary biology and developmental biology it's such a heavy topic that like it's a one and a half hour recording i spent like three plus hours watching it and i didn't even like transcribe everything i didn't even fully understand everything so that lecture i probably have to watch it like at least four times to fully understand spot and look what i found this is so sweet okay so it's like on the edge here and it's like upside down it says don't underestimate yourself you got this i'm probably never going to see this person but it's just a very sweet gesture in my opinion mm -hmm. 